Hello, everyone. Share technology, share life. The good news to share with you today is the method of installing the Google GMS through the GSpace app. GSpace app was updated to the latest version in Huawei's official App Store on June 1st, which solved some of the previous problems and bugs. For example, Google Maps can't locate the position problems, and it is more stable to use than before. Therefore, if your mobile phone is Mate 40 international version or the previous installation of Google GMS failed, then it is recommended that you can try the latest version of GSpace in this video to install Google GMS. In fact, this method is applicable to all series of mobile phones of Huawei and Honor, including P40, Mate 30, Mate Pad, Honor V30, V40, Nova 6, 7, and 8 and so on. It can be installed successfully on both EMUI 10 and EMUI 11 ROM. It can also be installed directly on the latest Harmony OS. So if you are already a user who has upgraded Harmony OS 2, but you have not yet installed the Google GMS before upgrading the Harmony OS, and you want to install the Google GMS directly on the Harmony OS 2 system, then this installation method with GSpace is also completely possible. So users who have upgraded Harmony OS 2 can try it right away. OK, let's move to my Huawei phone to show you step by step. Let's go. OK, now welcome to my Huawei phones. Now let's first step, we will open the app gallery of Huawei app gallery to uh, find the GSpace app to, ins to install it. OK, let's go to the app gallery. Then uh, first we need to check your country here. Click me and uh, click settings and uh, go down to check your country. So if your country is uh, selecting China, then you need to choose select uh, other countries like uh, United Kingdom or the Germany, some other countries. Otherwise, you cannot find the GSpace app. So I selected the uh, United Kingdom. Then, uh, then you can find the GSpace app from the app gallery. OK, let's select uh, the GSpace. G -space from the app gallery, you can see here, GSpace, and let's click it, and uh, let's see some uh, instruction about this app. So let's have a look, you can see this app, GSpace provides a function that you can easily use uh, one phone to log in multiple accounts and use a GMS, yeah, you can use Google Apps and update. You can see the update is uh, fixed some known bugs. And make and it will be more uh, stable to use than before. So some bugs were fixed. Let's move to okay. Then let's go back and click install of this GSpace app to install it into your Huawei phone from the uh, Huawei's uh, official app gallery. Okay, so uh, the installation was finished. Then we go back to the desktop. So now you can see uh, the GSpace icon was on your desktop. Then let's uh, open it. Click GSpace and some instructions. Let's click Start and uh, give the authority. Allow, allow. So the, to use GSpace, you needed to download the necessary kit, which means the GMS, the GMS kit, uh, the framework, the GMS framework. Let's click Continue. So now it will download from the server download the GSpace, the Google's, G, the Google's uh, GMS uh, environment into uh, this GSpace software. So you need to be, uh, you need to be uh, patient to waiting the download. OK, it will may, may take several minutes. OK, 99 uh, percent. We nearly finished the downloading of the Google's GMS environment files into the GSpace. Then after that, then you can install the Google's uh, like Gmail, Google App, Google Map, and uh, YouTube, like that. So before we install the uh, Google Map and the Gmail, we needed to go back to the desktop and uh, to do some settings about the GSpace. Okay, let's go to the settings and uh, go to the app and uh, the top app, and then let's find the GSpace. This GSpace. Here, let's go to the GSpace 
and give some authorities of、uh, the G space to make it、uh, be available to work to work normally. Then let's go to the permissions, the number two top permissions, and give the、uh, authorities necessary authorities to G space to let those apps like Google Map and、uh, some other cam like other cameras or those locations. Okay, so we need to give the location authority to all the all allow all the time. Yes, and、uh, if you want to use Google Map to make it Google Map、uh, can locate your position、uh, correctly normally, then you need to give the、uh, location authority. And、uh, if you want to use、uh, camera take photos in the G space, then you need to allow the、uh, camera or the microphone. You, if you use a microphone in G Space, like using the、uh, like、uh, the communication apps to use microphone, so it depends on your necessary. So some、uh, in apps installation, you need to give the if you want to install the applications in the G Space in apps、uh, authorities installation. So okay, so if others、uh, depending on your own uh, uh, requirement. So if you want to synchronize. Your contact, then you give the contact authorities to it, and you can synchronize your contact、uh, into the Google into the Google's contact. Okay, so those are necessary authorities, and then let's go back to the desktop and open G Space again. Then we install the Gmail. So if we want to, then you can see there's no.、Uh, Google's App Store here. You can see there's no Google App Store here, but there is a very tricky way if you can、uh, load this、uh, Google's App Store. Like here, you click the Gmail, and you can see as an upgrade here. So the, then you can、uh, get the get the Google's、uh, App Store here. You can see sign in. So it is a very easy way to find this one way to the Google's App Store. So first thing we needed to click the Gmail to、uh, log in your Gmail account. Okay, then we go got it and add an email address. Then you needed to、uh, key in your Gmail account address. Add a Gmail account address. Then click Google here. Then it will communicate with your Google server. Then here you can see some instructions. You can see、uh, your device model is Huawei AL 00 G Space is your virtual space device. Its model is Nova 4E, and your account will be logged in on as Nova 4E, which means、uh, that the G Space will simulate your phone as Nova 4E to log into your Google account. So if you receive an email from Google Gmail. Uh, said uh, Nova、uh, 4E、uh, phone Nova called Nova 4E logged in into your Gmail account, which means、uh, that that's that's why、uh, this G, you receive this email because G Space simulate your phone like your phone is Mate 40 or P 40 will be simulated as Nova 4E to log in your Google account. Okay, let's dismiss this、uh, instruction and key in your Google account, key in your、uh, Gmail account. Okay, then click next. Then key in your password. Then click next. Okay, here you click I agree. Okay, then、uh, back up to Google Drive. Switch off. Click more, and、uh, accept. Okay, now you can see your、uh, Google Gmail account was. Loaded. Then、uh, let's click. Take me to Gmail. Yeah, take me to Gmail. Now you can see that Gmail was logged in, and、uh, you can see there's a warning said uh, uh, an uh, phone. They said there's a phone logged into your Gmail. So、uh, that's why、uh, the instructions、uh, give you the information about that. Okay. So now the Gmail was logged.、Uh, In successfully, and you can、uh, synchronize your emails here easily. Okay, let's go back, and、uh, you can see Gmail. Click、uh, Gmail again here. Then you click Upgrade. You can see the Upgrade、uh, button is here. Then you can、uh, using this、uh, 
uh, Google's App Store to upgrade your apps, or you can go back to the main page. You can see, you can go back to the main page, then uh, you can search your apps to install the apps you want to use. For example, we search Chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E, Chrome, then using this Google App Store to uh, install the Google Chrome. Here, but you can see the Chrome, there is a button uh, which means enable, which means you cannot use this version of Chrome because it's not com currently it's not compatible with GSpace. So we need to uh, go down here. You can see the beta version. So we needed to download this uh, beta version to use uh, Chrome in in the GSpace, okay, within the GSpace uh, Google's GMS environment. Let's in, click install. So you can now in using the Google's uh, App Store to install the application, any application you want to use. It's a very easy and straightforward. Okay, uh, we nearly finished. We finished the download and installing this uh, Chrome. Let's go back to the main screen from here. Let's have a look where the Chrome, you can see the Chrome is installed here. Then we click Chrome Beta to load uh, the Chrome and uh, switch off and accept and continue. Now you can see your Google account already loaded your, uh, because you previously you logged in your Google account. Yes, I'm in to synchronize your bookmarks. Yeah, synchronize your bookmarks. Yes, I'm in to synchronize your browse history and your bookmarks. It's very easy to use a Chrome. Yes. Okay, then uh, let's go back to the screen, main screen. And now let's click Google Map to have a look. This version already fixed the bugs uh, which are currently located the locations of previous versions. So let's go to the Google Map, click that one. And uh, yes, you can see now the blue, blue point. So now you can see the blue point is blink. So which means it can be located in your location and the navigation also works uh, and the navigation also works for the Google's map. Okay, so it's very easy. Let's go back and let's have a try the uh, YouTube, which also works. Let's click YouTube to see and your account or already logged in into the YouTube. Yes, you can see the YouTube can be played normally and uh, it's very easy to use that. And then uh, let's go to go back to our screen. So how to make the shortcut? It's very easy for you. Okay, let's click the uh, Gmail and uh, you can see here create a shortcut. Let's click that one and you can see please, please allow shortcut permissions, which means you need to give this GSpace a shortcut permission. Okay, let's go back to desktop and go to the settings and uh, go to apps again and apps and go to the G space and you needed to give the permission. You can top two permissions and uh, you can see the create home screen shortcut to uh, this authority to the uh, G space allow. Okay, go back, then go to screen again. Then we go to G space and uh, click Gmail again. Then create a shortcut, click add and create a shortcut for the Chrome click add and create shortcut to the Google map, click add and create shortcut to the YouTube. So now all of them are on your screen. So it's very easy for you to run those applications like Gmail, you can click the Gmail. So now you can see the Gmail directly to receive your emails and uh, click Chrome and uh, go back so Google's Google map and YouTube all of them can be uh, opened very easily so this is a very good solution for you and it works for the mate 40 international versions uh, and uh, other kind of uh, Huawei series of phones so if you feel this video is helpful just thumb up and uh, subscribe this channel to avoid missing future update see you next time bye bye